That's great, Pearl. Listen, thanks a lot. All right, we appreciate it. And tell Carmen, too. Okay. All right, that was Pearl. Uh, he and Carmen have been calling all the hotels and motels in the area, checking to see if a woman in a veil has checked in in the past few weeks. I know, it's a long shot. Just because a woman was wearing a veil when she left the laser palace doesn't mean that she would wear it any other time. Well, anything could happen because our luck is changing. Maybe so, but in the meantime, I'm still lining up character witnesses. Well, that's easy enough. We can get a lot of people to say a lot of wonderful things about Cruz. As far as I'm concerned, the jury can't hear too much of it. Yeah, well, that'll only take us so far. We can get the best character witnesses in the world, and that's not going to substitute for poking a hole in Timmons' circumstantial evidence. We're going to have to tear this apart piece by piece. I've been thinking about that, Julia. What? Tell me. Well, it might look as if we're running scared. Keith builds up a mountain of evidence against Cruz. We have none, so we spend all of our time and energy trying to tear down his mountain. It might be more effective if we dismissed his evidence as circumstantial in the opening statement and then concentrated on other aspects of the case. What other aspects are there, short of finding Elena's killer? All we can do for Cruz is, is get people up there to testify that he is incapable of murder, and that's not nearly enough. I know that. That's why I'm thinking about another angle. What? I think we've got a good case for vendetta here. We can prove that the DA has a history of hatred for Cruz Castillo. It would be tricky, but at the very least, it might get us a new trial. Yeah, that's good, because we have a lot of evidence to support that. Mm-hmm. We'd have to be subtle about when we brought it in, of course, otherwise we'd get called down for, um irrelevance every 10 minutes. No, but really, this, this could work. We could show the judge and the jury that the, that the prosecutor had a, had a personal stake in trying to ruin our client. You like the idea, huh? Yeah. You're not a bad strategist, Mr. Capwell. Of course, this means that we're going to have to assemble an entirely new line of defense, but what the heck, I've got all night. Had a girl. Go away. This is a meeting of unparalleled strategic brilliance, and we can't be bothered. Hi. Oh, hi. I, I thought you were Julia's secretary. Oh, it's okay. Am I interrupting again? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, you found us both in a good mood for a change. Really? What, what happened? Your husband came up with a brilliant idea. Of course, we're not going to be able to eat or sleep until the end of the trial, but if it works, it's worth it. Well, good. It sounds exciting. Well, we'll see. Like Julia says, if it works... Oh, is there anything I can do? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Not at the moment. Thank you. We're going to need Cruz's personnel file from the department. See if you can get hold of somebody in records. They're going to give you a fight about getting out before five, but don't take no for an answer. Oh, I never do. Oh, um, maybe I could go out and get you guys something to eat. Oh, Victoria, listen, thanks very much. We just, we just ate. And I don't want to bother you. Uh, we'll just order out if we need anything. Thank okay. You. Well, good luck. Thanks, we're going to need it. Tomorrow we'll be here uh, before we know it. Listen, get hold of the messenger service, too. We don't want to lose anything in transit. Right. Well, can you call me later? Uh, yeah. G give the baby a kiss for me, huh? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, bye. Yes, hi. Uh, personnel, please. Records? Yes, this is uh, Julie Wainwright. 